Hello, welcome to Romeo and Juliet, Act 2, Scene 6. This is the last scene in this act, and guess what's going on? It's marriage prep. We are at Friar Lawrence's, and Juliet arrives, and they're going to get married. And we start off this scene at the end of a prayer. Friar Lawrence, he says, So smile the heavens upon this holy act that after hours with sorrow chide us not. Basically, it's the end of a prayer, and we know it's the end of a prayer, because what does Romeo say immediately after? He says, Amen, Amen. Right? So the end of Friar Lawrence's prayer, he's saying, hopefully heaven will smile. Hopefully heaven will bless, bless this marriage, right? And afterward, nothing bad will happen. No, no, there won't be any unfortunate events. There won't be anybody to say, no, you shouldn't have let them get married. Hopefully, wedding will bless them, and nothing bad happens afterward. And that, so that's the prayer. Romeo says amen, and then he tempts fate. Bad move. He shouldn't have said this. Right? He comes off and he says, But come what sorrow can, it cannot countervail the exchange of joy that one short minute gives me in her sight. Sorrows have at it, right? Nothing can make me sad. There is nothing that could make me sad when to ruin a minute with her. He's so happy. And he doesn't stop there. He goes on to say, Death devouring love, do what he dare. It is enough that I might call Juliet mine. Death devouring love. He tempts death right there. Death can do what he dares. I don't care, right? As long as I can have Juliet as a wife. We know this is the tragedy of Romeo and Juliet. Guess what happens at the end? They're going to die. Why? Because Romeo tempted death. Come and kill me. I don't care. Nothing can happen if I can call Juliet my wife. Well, he calls Juliet his wife, and we know he's going to end up dead. Romeo expresses what it sounds like expressing his love. Nothing can hurt the joy he feels, is basically what he's saying. Friar Lawrence has some advice. In these violent delights, these violent delights have violent ends, right? So this is really harsh love. This is great joy, but it might end quick. He goes on to say, in their triumph die like fire and powder, as which they kiss, consume. It's like gunpowder, right? As soon as you touch fire to it, kabloom! There's all this emotion, this power, and then it's done. Okay? It's like honey. You taste it, and it's so sweet, it's like, oh, it's too much. Um, and he tells Romeo to love moderately. Love long, if you love moderately. Too swift arrives as tardy too slow. Don't burn yourself out now, okay? Love her for the long run, not just right now. And then here she comes, right? And then Friar Lawrence makes a comment on her. Oh, here comes your lady. Look, she's so light of foot. It's like she's floating on air. And I think in that moment, Friar Lawrence sees that Julia does love Romeo back. So he's kind of justified, I guess, in marrying them, even though we know he's only marrying them to end the feud. So she says, good evening to Friar Lawrence. Uh, Friar Lawrence says, you know, Romeo will thank us for us both. And then Romeo starts complimenting her, and she compliments Romeo, right? We have them saying a little bit to each other. And Romeo's like, Juliet, you're so good with words. Tell me what this love means to you. Because you're so much better than I am with words. And it's interesting because we know Romeo is really good with words. He can keep up with Mercutio. And there is no one in this play who can keep up with Mercutio. Right? And then when Juliet talks, she's like, I can imagine so much, but I don't have the words to say how much I love you and how awesome you are. So that, that's kind of cute. And then Friar Lawrence interrupts them and he says, Come with me. Uh, we'll go make short work. For by your leave, we shall 
not stay alone till Holy Church incorporate two as one. Incorporating two in one. He's talking about getting married. So they go get married. We do not see the actual marriage in the play. Okay? So they leave, and we assume they get married. In the next act, we are going to see Romeo with Benvolio Mercutio, and Romeo is newly married. Juliet goes back to her room, right, at the Capulet household, and she's going to wait tonight for Romeo to climb the stairs for the honeymoon night. So that's kind of interesting how they've rushed through things. They haven't told Mom. They haven't told Dad. Right? Usually when people elope, they'll run away and they'll start their life together. Well, they ran and got married and didn't run away. So that's kind of interesting. There has been no word of what happens the next morning when Romeo wakes up at the Catholic household and goes downstairs with Juliet and says, Hi, Dad. Wouldn't that be a fun thing to see? What would your parents say if you came downstairs in the morning with your new spouse and you didn't tell them you were getting married? Yeah, that's where we're at. Um, enjoy the scene. Tomorrow will be a study day, and the day after that will be the quiz on Act 2. And Act 3 starts soon, and Act 3 is where everything goes downhill. See you then.